For too long, humanity has existed within dysfunctional and polluted cities. Cities are dysfunctional. You don't like living in cities. In dysfunctional and polluted cities that ignore nature. Now, a revolution in civilization is taking place. Yes, I knew it. Another social revolution. Another revolution for civilization, for humanity. They're going to change the way we live. You know, we can't eat meat anymore. We're all going to be eating grubs. So what's the next thing, Klaus Schwab? Do I have to wear three masks? What do I have to do? What do I have to do now? Tell me. I can't wait. Imagine a traditional city and consolidating its footprint, designing to protect and enhance nature. The line will be home to 9 million residents. The... The line. The line will be home to 9 million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. N 9 million people in 34 square kilometers in, in, in a thing called the line, which looks like a massive wall in the desert. Okay then. And we are designing it to provide a healthier, more sustainable quality of life. The Lions communities are organized in three dimensions. But sirs, misses, I see that it's wrong. It's wrong because it's like against society. Residents have access to all their daily needs within five-minute walk neighborhoods. And the line's infrastructure makes it possible to travel end-to-end -end in 20 minutes with no need for cars, resulting in zero carbon emissions. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? In our 34-kilometer cage with 9 million residents in the middle of the desert, the wall that we'll be living in will have zero carbon emissions so you can sleep well at night. Just think how happy you'll be in your little three by three cell up in the sky, in the desert, chowing down on your tub of larvae, taking a dose of intravenous soma before hopping in your solar powered auto gyro to fly over to the local orgy. All of that and zero carbon emissions. What is not to love, you fascist? By leveraging AI technology, services are autonomous, saving you time and effort. Designed by world-leading architects, the line is 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, 170 kilometers long. This farce, this 20th century Bastille that pretends to be a pocket democracy. Why don't you put us all into solitary confinement until you get what you're after and have done with it? And housed within an elegant mirror glass facade, Intelligent solutions create efficiency and year-round temperate microclimate with natural ventilation. Energy and water supplies are 100% renewable. The line is designed as a series of unique communities, offering a wealth of amenities, providing equitable views and immediate access to the surrounding nature. Equitable views, so we'll all get the same view. Every human that lives in there will get to see the exact same thing every day they wake up and every day they go to sleep for the rest of their lives. And there's access to nature, unlike now in our dysfunctional cities where you just can't access nature. It's so inaccessible. With 40% of the world accessible within six hours at the heart of the globe's key trade routes, a place for commerce and communities to thrive like nothing on earth seen before. The Line, the city that delivers new wonders for the world. You fancy going living in a massive wall in the desert? I get the feeling that this massive wall in the desert isn't for the likes of you and me. It's for those globalist shape-shifting reptilian humanoids and their lackeys. I think I'm going to stick it out here in the old civilization, in the cities, like a fucking dinosaur, like the firebrand Christian conservative I've clearly become. Yep. I'm going to keep myself in the city. I don't want to live in a wall. I want to live in a line. <laughs> Call me a dinosaur. I don't want to live in a line in the desert. Not for me, no, sir. Do you want to live in a line? 
I don't want to live in a line. 